Hi, my name is Mark Waldron and I'm from St Mary's University. Um, today I'm going to talk about a project that we've just completed where we've been comparing a new system called the Player Maker, which is an inertial measurement unit fitted to both feet for the purpose of tracking the movement of football players. And we've been doing a method comparison between this device and traditional ways of measuring velocity which is through global positioning system devices. So we compared the player maker device to three GPS systems. And the way in which we went about doing this was to recruit a squad of elite male youth footballers and have them run a simulated football match. And during that time we measured them concurrently with the player maker and the three GPS devices. The reason for doing this was to try and see if we could understand the differences between taking a different technological approach and placing units in a whole different area of the body to see if we could develop a better understanding of the velocity based metrics of team sports players when they're performing patterns that are similar to what they would do in matches. The Playmaker device tended to measure higher velocity movements um, a greater distance covered in higher velocity movements, a higher total distance covered, as well as higher accelerations and higher decelerations. We also measured higher total distance decelerating and higher mean distance of every acceleration performed. In brief, we think this might be related to the fact that the inertial sensors are placed on the feet, therefore they are more able to pick up these short rapid movements that characterise team sports movement patterns uh, and also the type of device itself. Uh, with a, an inertial based system we have accelerometers and gyroscopes working in tandem. So during the study one of the other things that we did is we placed two player maker devices on each foot of the participants. And the reason we did this was to try and understand a little bit more about the inter-unit reliability. Uh, which is a, a type of study that's been performed quite frequent, frequently with GPS units. Um, one of the things we found is that the errors were extremely small. In fact, the errors were so small they were way beyond anything that's ever been reported with other tracking devices for team sports movement tracking. So team sports practitioners and researchers who work in team sport are usually concerned with this concept of external load, how far we travel, how fast we travel, how much we accelerate, how much we decelerate and it's becoming more and more important that we understand those small changes in velocity, the accelerations and the decelerations because they're very important for monitoring the load of players. We know that the GPS systems or velocity derived from GPS systems can be quite limited in this regard and I think this is one advantage of, of the player maker to be able to pick up those small cumulative changes of, of direction that uh, would sum to something quite large near the end of a match. Of course, with the units being fitted to the lower limbs as well, the feet, um, we're also able to pick up things that are biased towards the limbs rather than something in line with the centre of mass. And that might also have importance because when we think of fatigue and neuromuscular fatigue and recovery, uh, and when we think of the, the way in which we understand mechanical load during matches, IMUs fitted to the feet might be able to, to tell us a lot more and be a, a lot more revealing about what the football players are experiencing during training and competition uh, compared to a GPS fitted between the scapula.